this video I'm going to work out an individual integral. It's going to involve a u substitution and it's going to be pretty straightforward, something that would be commonly found in a Calc 1 class. Alright, so I'm going to take a look at my function here that I'm working with. I'm going to try to find the inside most part of the function. That's at x squared plus 1 and that's where I'm going to start with letting my u be whatever's on that inside. So I'm going to let u equal the x squared plus 1. Alright, I'm going to take the derivative of both sides. I'll have a du is equal to a 2x dx. Now to make our substituting um, a little bit easier, I'm going to go ahead and solve all the way down for dx. So I'll have a du over a 2x is equal to the dx. Alright, I'm going to come back up to my original integral and I'm going to substitute things. So I'll have the integral we're going to have the 2x will still be there. I'm going to have the square root of. Now for x squared plus 1, I'm going to put in my u. And for the dx, I'm going to replace it with du over 2x. All right, now at this point, as long as you can get your x's to fall out, you're in good shape. I have a 2x on the bottom. I have a 2x on the top. That's going to leave me with the integral of the square root of u du. Now, to be able to integrate this, I'm going to have to go from radical uh, form to exponential form. So I'm just going to rewrite that as a u to the one half. So I'm going to have the integral of u to the one half du. Now we're to the place where we can integrate this. I'm going to add one to that one half. That's going to give me a three halves. So u to the three halves. And then with the reciprocal in front, I'll have a two thirds. I am done integrating, so now I can put in my plus c. At this point, one step left, replace the u with the original um, x squared plus 1 that you had. So we'll have a 2 thirds, and then x squared plus 1 raised to the 3 halves plus c. Actually, there's you're done at that point. There's no reason to rewrite unless you would want to, since the original integral had that square root in it, you could rewrite this in you know radical form then your answer would look like a two-thirds times the square root of x squared plus one to the third power and then plus c all right either answer technically is correct just in a different format if you want to stay consistent with your original integral so definitely um, a pretty straightforward u substitution that would be found in calc one in the beginning you know integral section. Uh, definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.